All right, first graders today for Thursday, April 30th, we are continuing our Unit 30 um, phonics lesson with the soft C and soft G. The soft C makes an S sound like S, and the soft G sounds like a J, J. So continue practicing your spelling words and your spelling sentences, um, sorting those um, pattern sort cards that you have, um, and getting ready for your spelling test at the end of the week. So for your phonics today, you have two separate sheets and they are both cut and paste. Um, so they are one-sided. Um, so this is gonna be BLM three and BLM seven. So on BLM three, this is called phonemic awareness. You are cutting out the eight pictures at the bottom. So you can just cut straight across here and then cut out those pictures. And you are going to glue down the pictures that have the s sound under the picture that also has the s sound in it. Then you're going to glue down any pictures that have the j sound under the picture that has the j sound. So if this picture right here is mice. What are you hearing? Are you hearing s or j mice? Right, you're hearing that s. Um, so that's your soft c that you're hearing. So you want to glue down any of these pictures <clears throat> that also have that soft c over with the mice. And this is an orange so what are you hearing there? Right, you're hearing the soft G, that J, J, orange. So you're going to glue down any pictures that have the soft G under the orange. So your pictures are cage, giraffe, um, garlic, I think. I'm not sure. You all might know better than me what that is. Um, I'm not sure. Circle, fence, pencil, gem, and bridge. So other than this one, you should know what word and you can even write the words in there with your picture so that when you go to glue it down you even see the letter that you're looking for um, I'm not sure um, I will hopefully figure it out and put it on my answer key um, sometimes I get on the video and just freeze up sometimes and can't tell in the picture or have to look back in the benchmark book and see what they have written down. And BLM7, you are cutting out these four letters down at the bottom, C, 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 and G. So these are going to be the soft C or soft G. So what you're doing is there's a word on top and then there's going to be a rhyming word under it. So you have to make the rhyming word. So if the word is bent, you need to make a rhyme word. So it has to end in ENT. So it's either going to be C or G. So gent or sent. Which one makes more sense? Him and either a C or G to make Kim, which wouldn't make any sense because that's not a soft C or Jim. Pity and City or Giddy and Wendy or Cindy or Gindy. So what would make sense? So 
glue those letters down to make your rhyme word and then over here you are drawing a picture of that word you made so not both words just the word you're making so those four words that you make draw a picture of it so I will put answer keys up on class dojo and if you need any help at all let me know